In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a creative SWOT analysis slide and this is how the slide looks when I click it comes here uh, with the white oval shape the SWOT word and then the shadow effect and when I click the first which is the strength will come you can see here you can add the strength and the detailed text with the shadow effect I have put it here and then comes the W and then the weakness there it comes the O which is the opportunities and it comes the last one T as threats then you can add some detailed text also likewise I have created one more slide where you can use for some other purpose also like you can use it for some title you can add your own title here some extra details also you can add it and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select this one the diamond shape draw diamond shape maybe this much size and later on we can increase or decrease shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color then i'm going to give a 3d format for this so right mouse click go to format shape under the effects go to the 3d rotation and from presets i'm going to select this one which is perspective the second one relax moderately just click on this and then go to the 3d format scroll it down and depth you can see here just increase the depth according to your requirement maybe this much size it's enough and then you can just go to lighting and then just select the neutral one and from the material maybe you can choose uh, this also depending on your requirement you can just select it maybe i'm going to choose this one all right and i want to increase the size a little bit more so just increase it and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and add the other side you can see here and then for this i'm going to give a color which is a red color something like this and then i want to add two more press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size you can see here and then send this to back and i'm just going to place it here something like this and this color i'm going to make it maybe a kind of a dark yellow and press ctrl d again send this to back you can see here i can just pull back also not a problem and then i'm just going to add one more here so doesn't matter here it looks odd here so what i'm going to do i'm going to fill that one with a, a oval shape so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this you can see here and shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and this color i'm going to give a gradient fill so i've used this gradient fill uh, color combination of white and gray so what i'm going to do now i'm going to select all or press ctrl a to select all and put exactly in the center so you can see here our basic design is ready now it's time to add more detailed text so now i'm just going to select this and change the color to a green color and then i'm going to add a few more shapes go to shape select the old shape draw the old shape by holding the shift key and then just put this one here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give the blue color here or if you want you can give some other color also press ctrl d to duplicate add one here you can see here and one more here make sure that it's properly aligned and then i'm just going to add maybe i'm going to put it here all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color maybe i'm going to put yellow I'm going to put green color and then I'm going to put the red color here then I want to give some shadow effect for this so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape will make it black increase the transparency and then go to the effects under the soft edges increase the size you can see here maybe this much I'm going to put it yeah then i'm just going to select this and bring this to front so you got a shadow effect something like this you can see here 
press ctrl d to duplicate add it here and bring this to front ctrl d again i'm just going to bring this front and again the last one ctrl d i'm just going to select and bring this to front so you can see here uh, like this you can just add the shadow effect and then i'm going to add the swat so the first comes as center align make it black and here i'm going to use aerial black increase the size and put it here so if it is uh, maybe a uh, white also will look good or will look nice so i'm just going to increase it further you can see here as then control d to duplicate and then i'm going to type w here control d this will come o you can see here and then control d i'm going to put as t here so you can see here though it's it's swat all right and then you can add some title also here just go to insert text box i'm just going to add the same swat okay black aerial black increase the size you can see here and then i'm going to put it exactly in the center you can go to the format text effects shadow i can just go and select this also here so like this okay then what we need to do is we need to add more details for each uh, this one and before that one if you want to add a shadow effect for the bottom i'm just going to select this press ctrl d increase the size you can see here and maybe increase the transparency so a shadow effect has been created and send this to back so now i'm going to add detailed text so i'm going to talk about strength here i hope the spelling is right s-t-r-e-a-n-g-e-t-h i think it's correct i believe okay and make it bold and i'm going to use the font called oswald or any other font okay and then i'm just going to add some detailed text so just equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets one and reduce the size i'm going to give as a dark gray color and put it here you can see here so this is the strength and make sure that it is properly aligned Control d to duplicate it will be for the weakness then this one for the opportunities and then this one is for the threats so let me just make it weakness and this is the opportunities increase the text area and then these are threats and then just change the color so this color i'm going to make it to some dark color here this would be a green color and here this would be a red color here i'm sorry the spelling mistakes here that should not come a my mistake apologies okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the animation before adding the animation let me just uh, group this and this together or i can just highlight this you can see here this two control g to group it so it becomes one group here all right and then i'm just going to group this then i'm going to group this and then i'm going to group this all right and then what i'm going to do now is this also text also i'm going to group one by one control g and control g okay then what i'm going to do now is simple let me just go to the animations and enable the animation pane and this one i'm going to give a fly in you can see something like this and before that one let me just add the animation for this one okay so i'm just going to go to add animation more entrance effect and i'm going to say basic zoom all right and then this swat should come and this also i can give maybe i'm going to more entrance effect stretch 
click OK and make it from bottom and that should happen after previous so if I play it comes something like this and then this one should come for that fade I'm going to make it and this should happen after previous then here I'm going to fly in select the fly in animation it should be on click and then this one also I'm going to make it fly in but I'm going to make it from top and should happen after previous this one again fade again after previous and then this one I'm going to use the same uh, the stretch click OK and this also from bottom and should happen after previous so if I play it comes something like this you can see here so now what I'm going to do now the same thing I'm just going to use this one and click on the each different this one so you can see here I'm just going to select and select this one here I'm going to use for the shadow effect then I'm going to use this for this so likewise you can just copy the animation for the rest of the options